Welcome back to the big board, etc., etc. MBT BAO blah, 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 BAOR module. Top of turn eight, Soviets pick up initiative. Soviets had placed a number of fire orders uh, in an attempt to try and regain the lost momentum due to the uh, wily tactics of the Brits. Fortunately enough, these guys had a fire order. They both fired at this stack here, which has Harris in it, uh, and uh, Harris and two tanks, right? So first shot is a clang, second one is a hit and a pen, uh, and uh, an immediate uh, brew up actually. So here's what's interesting. These two tanks are relatively closely, uh, I guess, um, matched against each other, uh, particularly at point blank range, you know, we're just four or five hexes away from each other. And so the penetration rate for the T-62 is 96 if they use an APF APFSDS. I really can't talk today. And if they're using Stabber, uh, the, the CE round, uh, it's 110. Now they fired APFSDS uh, because they're shooting at a, at a vehicle that at best, on a, on a this is a flat shot has got a seventy nine on the on the rating, so seventy nine versus ninety six. There's no way that we could possibly get a even if we use the variable penetration rates. Uh, there's no way that we can get enough points really to uh, to make a difference there, right? So it you know if you penetrate, you kill it pretty much is the way it's going to run here. Um, because the, uh, the penetration, the variable uh, penetration on this particular platform for the T62, there's a plus or minus 15 as a maximum. So we wouldn't have had enough 15, that would have been 80, 94, and they had a 96 penetration rate. So it would have been very close, uh, but no cigar. So that's what happened there. So we're gonna take one of these tanks off I'm gonna leave Harris in there. We'll just assume that he was in the Overwatch tank. I didn't really declare which was which. Uh, probably my bad. I'll tell you what, we'll roll the die. Let's see if he dies, because that, that'll be fun. Evens, he's dead. And 40, so he's dead. All right, that was simple. Uh, so we'll put that guy over there. That's the first loss for the British. They are now, uh, this guy is in Overwatch. So he is fired. Now let's have a look over here and see what went down. Remember earlier on, I was rather bold with Young, <laughs> and uh, he pulled up next to this uh, squad here. They have an RPG-22, they fired, and the difference here was extremely close on the penetration rate. So the penetration rate is 80 for the, on a uh, 80 on the uh, RPG-22, which then meant, uh, depending on where they hit, it was going to be an, an interesting shot, right? And uh, unfortunately for them, they hit front. <clears throat> so I have a 79 uh, on my defense for the armor thickness and, and protection, etc. So there's only one difference. So that's where I said, okay, well, look, let's use the variable penetration rates, right? And so we rolled on that. And let me just double check that because I realized I might have made an error here. And I'm going to check it real quick. And nevertheless, it makes no difference. Uh, so I did check the numbers. And what would have what happened is that, based on the rolls, I roll a two, a three, and a six with a penetration rate of eighty. That meant that we get to subtract eleven from the from the penetration value, uh, which this is kind of cool, right? Uh, so firing into this building, we can imagine that uh, while it's a hit, it uh, deflects off the armor and does not uh, do all the damage that was expected there. So they survived. Okay. Well, you may wonder why I have <laughs> why I have a brew up marker on that, okay? Well that's because dun 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 da, 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 da. sorry, got carried away there. Alright, the BRDM two ATGM platform fires and slices hot knife through butter. Brew up boom thanks for playing. He even rolled a rolled a what was it an O2 to hit slice that sucker in half Harris, uh, Young is dead, the tank is dead. There is now two tanks and two leaders down. It's a crisis 
for the Brits. All of a sudden, the flavor of the game has changed significantly. And that is the fire phase for the initiative player. Now the, the Brits get the fire back. They are only going to have one or two units that are capable of firing. Uh, there's another unit away over here, but we'll worry about that in a minute. And I'll come back to you once we reconcile what's going on here. The Brits will get to move first. We'll move all of their units. Now uh, the plans may adjust and change just a little bit. And then we'll get some Overwatch going uh, where we'll have a chance to shoot back here. And we'll probably shoot back at these guys, see if we can't... Uh, these two units can perhaps suppress this or reduce it. So very, very tight game uh it's now well i wouldn't say it's not it's i guess it's the soviets are back in the in the battle let's put it that way they've, a lot of, they've lost a lot of btrs and a couple of tanks how many tanks have they lost two maybe three two tanks and all the rest have been apcs so so it's neck and neck on the v point vp count for afvs but the apcs uh we haven't you know they're, they're not worth that much anyway to win, you've got to have a 100 point uh, differential. So it's going to make a big difference. So, uh, you know, who starts getting chewed up and who, uh, who survives. All right, talk to you soon.